up on bull run. New highs are hit on leg four. 8,000 8, feet. This is awesome. Cool. And for Team Lambeau, new lows. Hope they go to jail. As the competition tightens, emotions run high. Get out of the way! Bull Run turns up the heat, and one team's gonna get burnt. You gotta love this game. We have 12 teams of two drivers ready to compete in the ultimate test of man and machine. Ahead of them is a 4,000 mile test navigating some of America's toughest roads and attempting some insane challenges. After 21 days, the winner will emerge, claiming $200,000 worth of prizes and the all important Bull Run Trophy. This is Bull Run. Let's get it on. On bull run. The teams hit the open road for leg three. But the journey was far from easy. Stop! Stop! Back up! I'm found! Tensions were running high. <laughs> and three teams battled it out for survival in the challenge. But for one team, it was the end of the line. Team Viper, you're out of here, gentlemen. Hit the road. On the way from the team's hotel to the start line, Team Lambo was pulled over by the police after an anonymous tip accusing them of having illegal equipment in their car. There was an anonymous call to the police from a payphone and reported a Lamborghini with a bunch of illegal equipment in the car. Please don't break anything, it's a very expensive car. I was shocked to find out someone actually called this and uh, there was five patrol cars waiting for us. Oh man, another, another officer just showed up. You know what? Serves him right. The karma's a bitch. Of course he got pulled out of here by the police. Why else wouldn't he? Traffic light changers last time I checked were for ambulances, not for Lamborghinis. Cops are out there right now going through his car. They tossing it. Serves him right. Hope they go to jail. Then maybe we won't even have to worry about who beating the challenge. Maybe we'll have to worry about bailing him out of county. We're not we're bailing him out of county. We're not bailing maybe him out. Maybe we don't bail him out. If you get arrested, yeah. you're supposed to be out of the competition, so yeah. maybe this is it for the Brothers Wu. Since the police didn't find anything on site, Wu tells the other teams they've been instructed to go to the police station for a more detailed search. Good morning, Bull Runners. Good morning. Good morning. As you look among you, there are only nine teams left. And if what I saw coming through the gates this morning is any indication, someone, if not all of you, are understanding that it's time to ramp up the game and do everything you can to move on to the next round. As I drove in this morning, I counted five cop cars around the Lambo. Now, Team Lambo, you want to explain to me what happened? Apparently, somebody called anonymously uh, and said we have a bunch of illegal stuff in our car. After we start, I have to go straight to the police department, do a thorough inspection with a qualified inspector. Sounds like this morning, Team Lambo is behind the eight ball. And if I may suggest, you other teams, take advantage of it. Now, is anybody going to claim responsibility for the phone call? Now, as the old saying goes, nobody likes a snitch. So whoever made that call, better hope that they remain anonymous. Now, ladies and gentlemen, 
it's time to leave the state capitol. Your first checkpoint today is the Little Cottage Cafe. And remember, the immunity is out there for any of you brave enough to go for it. Bull Runners, start your engine. Everybody has alliances right now, but no one really knows how strong their alliances are. No one really trusts anybody here. As long as we stick with our game plan, this is in the bag for us. We don't want to go home, but I'm pretty confident. I think we'll do a good job. We're going to just try to stay focused, and uh, I think that's what's going to get us to the end. Kind of like war at this point. The smartest people and the best drivers are going to win. Everything we've done so far is leading up to uh, actually winning the bull run. We're just going to ride it on through all the way to the end. I think it's more about the drivers than it is the cars. Who's willing to be the, the most ruthless is the person that's going to win. This is an endurance test. We're wearing the title right now. We're wearing it. You might not see it, but we're wearing it. Let's get it on! Everybody's got him for first place. I wouldn't put it past someone to try and damage your car some way. You make a mistake, you're going to pay for it. Team Lambo, if we come in first, we're throwing you in. Count on it. We'll see you going home after that challenge. Coming up on Bull Run, is Team Lambo out of the game? Or do they have something up their sleeve? As tensions mount, emotions are out of control. Go! Damn! Relationships grow stronger, but on Bull Run, who can you trust? <laughs> the teams leave the rail yard for the journey to checkpoint one. Wayne Hart, California. First checkpoint, Little Cottage Cafe, Twain Hart, California. It's south. We are going south. We left the rail yard in Sacramento, stopped at the gas station with Teams Lexus and Team Mustang. We're going to see a few before you get started to get a better map. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Come on, go! Oh, damn! You don't care about your stupid hydraulics. Thanks for slowing us down! I'm wondering if this gas could come any freaking slower. We were kind of in a convoy almost all day with uh, with Minnie and Lexus. We all decided that it would be good to roll together to get as far as we could because it's better to have several heads reading maps than just having two people. You think this way is the best way to go? We've got input from a couple of other people. Five south, yep. four east. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, they got it. So go, 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 go. Picked up I 5 and went south. 5 south to 120 east, 108. Six heads may be better than two, but they can all still be wrong. You're on the 99 if you can. Go to 99. And south. I know we're not going the long way. We may be going the long way, maybe. All the teams except those in the Lexus, Mini, and Mustang convoy take the 99 South out of Sacramento. Team Lambo is met at the gate by the police, but not for the reasons Wu earlier suggested to the others. So as it happens, the police, after they searched our car, couldn't find anything. But in searching the car, the officer broke my sun visor. They felt really bad, and it was our opportunity to really twist things. So we ended up taking advantage of the situation and got them to actually offer us an escort out of town, which definitely helped out on Lake Four. I mean, how many people can get a police escort, right? Everybody moved out of our way. You know, it put us in front. Being in front is great. So there was no search. Instead of being delayed at the start, Team Lambo gets a fast police escort out of Sacramento. And the icing on top of the cake? The cops told him the best route to Twain Hart. Jackson Road. Jackson Road. East. The teams all take completely different routes out of Sacramento. 
which will prove to be the fastest. Team Lexus leads the convoy with teams Mini and Mustang following faithfully behind. So can anybody run faster than 30 miles an hour? On their feet. on your feet. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Tracy's mouth when she's pissed off. <laughs> oh, snap, dog. <laughs> that was the first day that we actually had a concerted three-way alliance effort. Emily has the most detailed map, so everyone relies on her navigational skills. Well, I hope she's right. Yeah. On the way to uh, the cafe, um, I think we got in a little disoriented at some point. Road. We're not supposed to be on mono road. We just need to be 108, but we gotta turn around. What'd she say? We have to turn around? Oh my god, Tracy. Just like the other night. Don't know where she's going. Using the information from the police, Team Wu is already at Twain Hall. Next to find the checkpoint is Team BMW. But 10 miles outside of Twain Hart, Team NSX is forced to ask for directions. Is, do you know which road it's on? Uh, I have no idea. I, it's BMW right there. Hold on your window. What is it? Straight ahead and you'll, you're going to turn left and you'll see it. At the back of the pack, the teams are now fighting among themselves. We circle around and back through it, and then we move it, and then we come up. Are you sure that we weren't on 108? Mono Way intersects 108. It doesn't run along it. The wooden 108? No, this is where business 108 ends. You don't know that's 108 West. I bet you that's 108 East, but we were just doing. God damn it. One of them's in the lead, and they're making the decisions. They make a bad decision, then that's a bad decision for all three of them. You know, all three are screwed. There's BMW. There's BMW. Well, I don't see how little Christina can be keeping the GPS in her pants or just tight. Yeah. Oh, right there, right there, right there. The town itself was pretty tiny, so you couldn't really miss a big uh, bull run checkpoint truck sitting in the middle of the street. We were the third ones to the first checkpoint. Yeah, buddy. I think Tracy leaned out the window and started screaming at some guy. Do you know where the Little Cottage Cafe is? He and his daughter actually turned around and led us directly to the cafe. Now an hour behind the other teams, the convoy is the last to arrive to checkpoint one. Like Tahoe, boys and girls. Here we go. Coming up on Bull Run. The rally reaches new highs in the Sierra Nevada mountains. 8,000 feet. And teams Lexus, Mini, and Mustang make up for their disastrous first stage. And who will escape the challenge? The first place team is... The teams must travel from Twain Hart over 140 miles away to Glenbrook Pier in Lake Tahoe, Nevada. In the first checkpoint, we went up over 108, which went up over the, uh, the Sierra Nevada mountains, and it was wicked. This is beautiful. Probably be the best leg so far. This is awesome. So cool. It was gorgeous. Now, I could only pay attention to the line because there's so many switchbacks and cuts and curves. It's sharp turn. These guys are brave. We were way up there, man. Way up. Well, there's still a ways to go. 26% grade. Yeah, I don't want it. Those are huge. 4,000 feet. We're climbing. Holy balls. That mountain. Even if this puts us in a challenge, it was cool to see. We drove that for probably a good 40, 50 miles. And we followed Team Cuda most of the way. <laughs> Guys, I'm having tons of fun right now. I'm 
glad we had you guys. I don't know how many other cars could handle like us. No offense, not bragging or anything, but your guys' car handles are freaking amazing. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what did you say? Thanks for the warning on that one. Wow, burning rubber. <laughs> 7,000 feet. This is incredible. We're totally climbing right now. I don't think Lexus' car is coming. Hopefully Lexus will break down. My car did not like the elevation at all. We could only at some points go like 20, 25 miles an hour and I had it floored. So here we are going on all these twisty switchback roads and my car is stalling and my steering wheel is locking and we've got a 9,000 foot drop. I think yeah, that's a nice little bet too. What would go first, our clutch or her starter? I'm gonna go with her starter. Me too. I do believe we're gonna be passing Bull Run Rock. It got pretty scary at some point because there is no guardrail. Don't look. Now you can see how these people go off the side of the road and left for weeks at a time. Don't push me. Chipmunk that runs in front of you, you hit it. Don't swerve. Slap. 8,000 feet. Holy <laughs> Coming around one of the corners on the mountains and we saw cow signs, like cow signs. What are the odds of a cow being in the road? And, you know, three miles later, cow. <laughs> <laughs> There's a cow in the middle of our road. That one I think was a bull. So he's on bull run as well. Elevation 9,624 feet. There we go, and that's the highest. I've never been that high unless I've been in an airplane. This cabin is not pressurized. My ears are popping like crazy. Tracy and I both feel like our heads are about to explode up here. There's freaking snow up there. Right? No. Other than trying to win the bull run, that's that's kind of what it's about. You know, just driving. This is the best road in the world. Yeah. Seen a lot of stuff we probably never would have seen yeah, if we weren't. We're never gonna see it again. Incredible. Even if I get crushed tonight. Thanks, Bull Run. Get into Nevada? Yeah, just stay live right here. Right here. Welcome to Nevada, boys. First down from the mountain, Team Lambo. Checkpoint, this is it. Checkpoint, boom. Team's Challenger, BMW, NSX, and Hemi Kudo all arrive at the checkpoint within minutes of each other. Towards the back of the pack is Team Hummer just ahead of the Lexus Mini and Mustang convoy. As the night falls, Chris and Dave beat the convoy to the second checkpoint. Is that checkpoint? That's it, right? Yeah. It's right there. I see it. With this you van got it. Mind. Yeah, we're here. The convoy's bad start cost them dearly. And yet again, they're last of the checkpoint. Right. Carson City, guys, let's go. up on Bull Run, which teams will risk going for immunity. Team Lambeau makes an unscheduled stop. Oh, yeah. Amazing checkpoint. That's it, Newman Lane. And the end is in sight. You gotta love this game. The final checkpoint is at Little John's Auto Wrecking Yard, Carson City, Nevada. The immunity checkpoint is 15 miles away at the Freeman Cemetery, Virginia City. Team Lambo is first to arrive in Virginia City. This looks like where they filmed uh, was that cartoon movie with the cars. Cars? Cars, yeah. <laughs> Team Lambo decides to go to the immunity checkpoint. Like five miles. And they even find a local to take them. We're going to take us to uh, the Virginia City Immunity Checkpoint, okay? All right, we're going to get out of here. News quickly spreads of how far ahead Team Lambo really is. 
They were here two and a half hours ago. So our whole strategy of keeping us top of the game is to go for immunity every single time. You know, by getting immunity gives us huge advantages. So we don't want to come in first. That's, that's not a good strategy for us. Um, we play smart game. We don't know how they're doing it. Time travel, maybe they're finding a, a, a loop in the time-space continuum. As long as we keep on getting immunity, we'll never be eliminated. If they don't come in first, then every other team will throw them in. So for them, it's immunity or nothing. Because he has no ground clearance, his car is like $200,000, and if he has to get thrown into these challenges out here, he's going home. They want us out, but they can't get us out. Eight out of the 12 teams have aligned together against Lambeau, and they just eliminated themselves. You can tell by those damn smirks on their face that they have it every time. Everybody here pretty much hates them, and they know it. You just can't trust them. You trust them as far as you can throw them, but he's a big guy. You can't throw him very far. Not only that, but they like to walk around like, hey, we're so cool, and we are going to win this. They're just fighting amongst themselves to not come in last, and they're going to be backstabbing each other, and they're going to be doing all sorts of nasty tricks. I thought about taking my key and, get, and getting the air out of their tires, um, but that's probably not enough. We just take it to a whole new level. Going against Team Lambo, does it feel like I'm in a swimming race with Michael Phelps? Absolutely. You know, when, when people are losers, they have to blame somebody else. Uh, you know what? Blame yourselves. Don't try to blame somebody else. Only blame yourselves. You guys aren't playing the game right. Using a local guide, Team Lambo arrives first at the immunity checkpoint. Now safe from being put in the challenge, they decide to visit one of Nevada's most notorious attractions. Ow! So we figured we might as well go hit a bonus checkpoint, which was the Bunny Ranch. The most famous brothel in Nevada, the Bunny Ranch. And it turned out to be the best stop ever. It's a historic landmark. It's one of those uh, top seven places you have to visit before you die. Bunny Ranch right here. Got a hot, sexy girl. We don't want to show up right away. Can let them know we got the police escort. We'll let them all keep guessing. But we're here at the Bunny Ranch. So Team Wu has a little bit extra cash, and we'll see what we can spend it on. How's it going? Hi, how are you? That's it, Newman Lane. There's the light. Little John, service at Main Yard. Right here, right here, right here. Woo! After a long drive, the other teams hit the final checkpoint. Now times need to be totaled to see who's driven themselves into the challenge. This will yeah. bring you luck. This will make you the winner, the bull run winner. The $200,000 prize, and I think I know where I'm going to spend my money. Right here. I really don't even care if we roll in tomorrow morning instead of even rolling in tonight to the checkpoint. Uh, it smells so good in here. Nice and leathery. <laughs> Amazing checkpoint. Because I can't wait okay. to get on the road again. I think I'm going to drive them to the checkpoint. I have to make sure they get there on time. Full run. Can't beat it. Bunny ran! Woo! Time to get back to checkpoint! Right back! Bye, Go, team Woo! Bunny oh ran! God, that Bull was run. awesome! Coming up on Bull Run, the results are in. The first place team on the fourth leg is. Will the identity of the anonymous caller be revealed? My police sources have told me something extremely interesting. Who will face the challenge? And who will face disgrace? Let's get it on! Welcome to Little John's Wrecking Yard. I hope for your sake, it's not an omen of things to come. The first place team on the fourth leg of Bull Run with the time of five hours and 45 minutes is... Team NSX. We hit all our checkpoints right on. 
Um, you know, and that made sense for us not to go for immunity because first place is just as good. Way to go, gentlemen. Not only do you win the Black Magic detail for that pretty little ride of yours, but for the first time, you guys are kind of in the driver's seat. See if you can keep that spot. Now, on to the three unlucky teams for today's challenge. In last place, with an uncharacteristically horrible time of seven hours and 41 minutes, is Team Lambo. Now, guys, I heard your brush with the law wasn't as serious as you made out. Just to add a little bit to the story, I've done a little investigating of my own. My police sources have told me something extremely interesting. Not only was the phone call made from the team hotel, but it was made by a woman. And to me, that kind of narrows down the list of suspects. Team Lexus, anything to say? Fair enough. Team Lambo, any other tricks up your sleeve? We know what we're doing. Really. Team Lambo has muni once again. Ladies and gentlemen, looks like Team Lambo is for real. But it looks like they're going for the jugular. Why haven't you guys gone for the immunity? Why the hell would you not go for immunity? You're taking yourselves out of the damn game. You're giving it to Team Lambo. You bitch at them day after day. But you gotta look in the mirror, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't go for the prize, you ain't gonna win. Take my advice or be the next ones going the hell home. This game's for real, ladies and gentlemen. Team Lambo, you're safe. You can join the other teams. With the immunity being played, we must adjust the position of the two teams in the elimination. The new last place team with a time of six hours and 41 minutes is... is Team Lexus. Well, well, well. Now it's time, ladies, to close that big mouth and put your foot down. And let's see if you can stay in the game. What do you say about that, Team Lexus? Nothing. Shutting my big mouth. I can't wait to the challenge. Joining Team Lexus today with the time of six hours and 39 minutes is... Team Mini. First time in the challenge for both of you two teams. Are you excited? I've got a really good driver. We're up for it. For the third team competing in today's challenge, we go to Team NSX for the decision. You're probably going to make a new enemy. Who's it going to be? feel bad about it, I guess, but we're going to pick Team Hummer again. And the reason is, is that we feel that they are going to be the strongest team in this competition and will hopefully take out one of the other two teams. Team Hummer, how do you feel about it, man? I mean, actually, it's a compliment. Yeah, but I don't know that it made any sense, but... Oh, it makes sense. Absolutely. By you guys competing in the challenge and kicking everybody else's ass, you're guaranteeing someone else is going home. With Lambeau playing the immunity, Team Lexus now occupies the last place spot. Joining them is their alliance buddies, Team Mini. The NSX boys smash it and throw Team Hummer into their third challenge. Bull Runners, today's challenge is Thunder Run. In the Thunder Run Challenge, the teams must navigate around a junkyard course with two major obstacles in their way, two huge tires. 
In order to pass, both team members must exit their vehicle and push the tires out of the way. This is Bull Run! They must return to their vehicle and buckle up before continuing around the dirt track. The object is to tear through the course as quickly as possible. But that won't be easy. Throwing them off course is a bulldozer in hot pursuit. driver must reverse the vehicle into the designated finish box. Fastest time wins. Let's get it on! Coming up on Bull Rush, the hottest challenge yet. I think I can outdrive those other teams. I'm the hardest racer. Come on! You kicked a major ass. Who will win? And who will get toasted? The team that's going home tonight is... Taking on the Thunder Run is Team Lexus, Team Mini, and Team Hummer. We were hoping that we wouldn't get put in the challenge. The car's just not going to make it. I've been at plenty of starting lines before, and this is like no other starting line that I have ever been at. You just got to plan of going slow and steady, and hopefully some other people will make mistakes where we won't make any mistakes. We stuck to our plan and went slow and steady. My car stalled, so that cost us a couple of seconds. And we're gonna hope that somebody else is gonna flop over some tires. There was that big tractor, yeah. and he was moving, and I was kind of like sliding towards him. So I was hands all moving all over into place. Ah! I didn't yeah. hear no explosions. All I heard was Goldberg running right in his mouth. I told him to shut up. You kicked a major ass on that. Thank you. I think I can outdrive those other teams. Well, I think that the Mini will be able to go on dirt real well because it is low to the ground, and Rob knows how to drive real well. Well, we've never driven it on dirt before, so we'll see.
slowly. Go. gear down there and you couldn't get your seat built. Couldn't get the seat that cost belt. us about half the time. The mini is faster, but they had a bobble with their seat belt and that's what cost them a ton of time. That's probably what a good 10 seconds. But I had trouble getting in the right gear. Any errors weren't weren't the car's errors, they were ours. It's a lot of fun. I'd like to do it again. <laughs> yeah, well done Rob. My heart is racing, my heart is racing. More so today than it has in the uh, other two challenges. It's doing about 200 RPMs right now. It's time to send somebody else home, once again. I slipped when I got out of the truck on the gravel, and the door locked as well. I don't know how that locked. Yeah. And probably because you had the key in the ignition, and you shut the door. Because you know when you're in park, it locks. Mental, small mistakes. This challenge will never separate the, our friendship, and we go down as a team, and we win as a team. We don't know, but uh, it's all good, though. You know what I'm saying? No doubt, no doubt.
Coming up on Bull Run, it's judgment time. Another tough challenge and more huge explosions. But for one team, it's adios. Apocalypse Now. Another tough challenge and more huge explosions. You gotta love this game. Now, unfortunately, tonight is the end of the line for one of you three teams. The winner of Thunderdome is, of course, safe, and they'll move on to the next round. The time of one minute and 28 seconds. Team Hummer. Woo! Yeah! 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 yeah. Way to go, gentlemen. Another spectacular drive. You can't help but feel terrific about your spot in the rally. Bill, you know we got this target on our back? And it's just eating us up every day. When we wake up, we know that somebody's going to try to throw us in, use us as a guinea pig. And guess what? Keep playing the game. You might burn yourself. Join the other teams, please. I love you, man. I love you, too. OK. Team Lexus, Team Mini. You know the drill by now, as tonight, bull run is over for one of you. Now the times were extremely close. They were so close that only one second separated the two teams. The team that's going home tonight with the time of one minute and 38 seconds is is Team Mini. I gotta say, it was a pleasure having you on the show. I hate seeing you go. Thank you for coming. Well, we came to have an adventure. You know, running in a pack, you're only as fast as the slowest person, and we weren't ruthless enough to pass them up and leave them on the side of the road. Every day going from leg to leg, we, we did our best. Uh, towards the end, we got a little too attached to people. Give me a hug. Watch where you hug. <laughs> <laughs> if you come on board, make sure you don't get attached to anybody. <laughs> Team Lexus dodged a bullet. I hope tonight you realize that that racing resume of yours almost got seriously tarnished because you almost got beat by a Mini driven by two people old enough to be your grandparents. Good night. on Bull Run. The teams endure the hottest and longest drive yet. Oh, us. The challenger resorts to shock tactics. Team Hummer feels lucky and gambles on a dirt track shortcut. The devil's gonna come out real soon. Three teams compete in the most dangerous challenge yet. And another team is headed home. You're going home. <laughs> <laughs>